many, many times. I think that certainly deep down there needs to be a solid, you know, confidence and uh, an encouragement from you know people in your life. But uh, if you don't doubt it ever, I don't think you're as as soulful of an artist. Well, my father gave me no money at all, and my mother didn't have any money to give me. She tried, um, but it was like maybe, what, $10 <laughs> a week? I knew a lot of artists who, 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 had the, who had big hits and made a lot of money initially from advances and, and then, you know, couldn't sustain their lifestyle and really suffered through that kind of delusional um, concept that if you're an artist, you have to be rich. I played piano in a, in, in a Park Avenue apartment for some wealthy people and saw some pretty crazy things. <laughs> One of my big setbacks was very early on, um, I went to New York in the 90s and I, nobody knew who I was and, uh, and I was playing piano and, and I you know, recorded some songs and pretty much everybody refused my tape. They said, why do you keep coming here? <laughs> we don't want you. I sometimes wish that I would spent more time f focusing on my singing. Um, some of my shows, I could have been a little more, um, you know, disciplined. I was drink drunk a lot for some of the early ones. I was great in some of them. In other ones, I wasn't so great. But I thought I was great the whole time, so. One advice that I have for anybody who's starting out is just to play as much as possible. Play weddings, play funerals, play bat mitzvahs. Try as hard as you can, do what you need to do, but also be aware that if you decide not to become an artist and do something else, that's okay too. And actually, some of the greatest people I know in my life are people who walked away from being artists and being singers, and I admire them very, very much.